So I've made the decision to switch from Cloudways over to Gridpane. For me, I spent so many years migrating web hosts and dealing with so many headaches around the hosting provider that I was currently with until I landed on Cloudways in 2018, and everything has been pretty much rock solid since then. Recently, with their price hikes and of course the acquisition from DigitalOcean, I've been pretty unsettled and really had my eye out for where I would move next, and Gridpane became that choice for me. So in this video, what I'm going to do is talk to you a little bit about what made that decision for me, why I chose Gridpane, and give you some initial thoughts. I haven't been with it that long, so I can't definitively say that it is the end all be all and where you should go. But for me, it had the right balance of performance and features and costs. So that's what I'm gonna discuss in this video is making the transition from Cloudways to Gridpane and what you might consider in doing that for yourself. In terms of how many sites and servers I currently have, Right now, I manage about 25 care plan clients and I have about five websites of my own, jonathanjernigan.com, my agency site, and a few other projects off to the side that I control as well. Those are spread across currently five different Vulture servers, but I'm going to be able to consolidate those quite a bit, which is going to be nice. The only logical conclusion for me is that more restrictions and more headache for Vulture users on Cloudways are coming. So that really isn't an option for me. I'm not willing to wait around and be caught with my pants down. Now, in terms of the first portion of this process for me to really investigate moving somewhere else, I really felt like the DNS was the most critical portion of this. So the two factors keeping me with Cloudways primarily were one, I really wasn't that perturbed by anything. I mean, there was small things, like I said, death by a thousand stabs or whatever that phrase is, but it's like the price increases, the shoddy support, elastic email headaches. There were things that were definitely annoyances, but not enough to make me jump. And really the main reason why is because of changing DNS for all of my care plan clients and all of my own websites was going to be such a monumental pain in the ass that I really was just willing to deal with whatever headaches they threw at me because the time spent changing all those A records to point to a new server would be monumental, not including the actual migration to the new server as well. Now I will say just as a quick aside that Patrick, the CEO of Gridpane, has been talking in some Facebook groups about there being uh, some method that they are currently investigating and implementing to allow you to move your Vulture servers from Cloudways into Gridpane and keep your same IP, which would mean that you wouldn't actually have to change your DNS. But for me, I actually want to consolidate my servers. I want to clean up a bit. I have a ton of dead weight that I'm carrying. So I'm going to shed all of that. And so I want basically a fresh start. So for me, I'm not taking advantage of that migration. It's going to take me more time and kind of more effort, but really the end result is going to be cleaner, easier to manage for me, and just something that, that I want. So the first step in this process for me is implementing DNS through Cloudflare. And the main part about this is that I can take advantage of Cloudflare's CNAME flattening strategy. If you're not familiar with CNAME flattening, I've just released a video on that. So you can go learn more about what I consider to be the best way to manage your DNS, whether it's for care plan clients or your own sites. If you manage any more than three or four sites, you need to watch that video. The thing is that CNAME flattening sounds complex, but it's really not when you dig in and understand exactly what's taking place. The catch being that most DNS management systems don't allow you to do what Cloudflare does and take advantage of this CNAME flattening. So the thing is, I'm actually adding all of my clients DNS into Cloudflare and making that switch first so that then I can take advantage of CNAME flattening before I make any changes to the server or my web host. The reason I'm doing this is of course, there's a lot of other performance and security benefits that I touch on in the other video, but I also am able to manage all the DNS from one place and take advantage of CNAME flattening. So if I ever have to make a change to servers or IPs or anything like that, I can do it in a matter of minutes rather than hours, days, or you know even weeks. Now with the DNS portion of this puzzle complete, let's take a look at the pricing considerations when you're moving to Gridpane. My bill for around 30 total live websites across four or five different servers for a long time has been around $220 a month. With the Cloudways price hikes over the last few months, my recent bills climbed up to $265 and my bill last month was $310 with no change between my infrastructure over the last few months. I'm up nearly $100 a month for no perceptible change or gain. Taking a six month average, my Cloudways bill has been $273.17. So I'm gonna use that as kind of my baseline when I factor in the costs associated with grid pain services and the other ancillary things 
like backup and transactional email that we're gonna need. Now, of course, Cloudway's whole model is to take whatever the server provider charges and just double it. So if your server was 44 bucks a month direct from Vulture, it's actually gonna cost you $88 a month with Cloudways. And for a long time, that really didn't bother me because there was so much heavy lifting happening through the Cloudways system that I was just like, well, that's the cost of doing business. I don't wanna go mess with all the stuff directly inside of Vulture, so that's fine. The other thing is that they also charge you for offsite backups, which is very abstract. And I'm sure there's pricing somewhere, but it's not very clear. So I really just add in like an extra 10 or 15% on top of my server cost, add in your elastic email for transactional email, and suddenly that $44 a month server is looking more like $100 a month. The other thing is that you don't own that server. You have no access to it outside of the Cloudways system. So if there's anything that goes wrong, you are beholden entirely to Cloudways and you're stuck in that limbo of support between Cloudways and Vulture. You have no direct contact with Vulture. So that's a huge thumbs down and something that kind of concerned me for a long time, but I never really gave much credence to until this DigitalOcean acquisition. Now we'll compare that with the way that Gridpane operates and you actually create an account with the server vendor directly and then your Gridpane account interfaces between them. So right now I have a few servers deployed in Gridpane, but if I go to Vulture, I can see those servers in there. So theoretically I could lose Gridpane entirely and my Vulture servers still run, they still exist, all the data is still there, and I still have full access. I could get in as root if I needed to on that server. So as I look at what plan will work for me for grid pain, I'm gonna go with their annual plan that they call panel. So normal pricing is $1,000 a year, which works out to about $83 a month. And so that gives me a ton of headroom when I'm factoring in the server costs directly from Vulture, offsite backup costs, transactional email, and those sorts of things. So looking at my current five servers with Cloudways, the pricing for those servers, if I did them directly from Vulture, would be about $150 a month. The thing that's interesting about this is I'm actually going to be able to do even better than that because I had a case where I needed to bump up a server that ended up having live sites on it, so then it was stuck on a higher plan that it needed. So I'm gonna be able to downgrade that server and then there'll be a little bit more that I can do because this cost savings means that some of the servers that were not high frequency on Vulture, I can upgrade to high frequency and still end up saving money. Almost all of my clients are on two gigabyte boxes right now through Vulture, the non high frequency servers. But what this cost savings means is I can actually bump all these servers up to two gigabyte high frequency and I'm still going to come out ahead in terms of costs, which is awesome. Pretty much all of my care plans are balanced between about 10 to 12 sites per server. So with these being high frequency, I can keep that same you know, number of apps on a server and it will actually be even more performant, which is awesome. So if I do the math and look at what servers I can consolidate, I'm really gonna bring my actual Vulture bill down to about $120 a month, which is amazing. The other thing worth mentioning real quick before I forget is that there are huge credits out there available for Vulture. So Gridpane offers one directly through their system, which I think is about $150 for the first month. I'm sure it's got some kind of affiliate component with them, but I did a quick Google search and I was able to find a first month coupon for Vulture that was worth $250. So I have $250 of credit in my account, which is essentially gonna give me the first month for free. It seems like that coupon is only valid for 30 days, but if I get the entire month free, then that really covers the cost of me running both Cloudways and Vulture kind of in tandem. Now, there are a few other costs to factor in when you're using Gridpane. Transactional email is something that's separate and you need to sign up directly with SendGrid. Using their product, they give you a free plan that's fairly comprehensive. You get like 3,000 emails a month. For me, I'm gonna be bumping up just to that point or maybe even a little bit beyond. So I'm gonna go ahead and factor in $20 a month for my SendGrid service for transactional email across all my servers. Then the other thing that we need to factor in is our offsite backup charges. So this is going to be through Backblaze, which you've probably heard of. Now their pricing is a little bit hard to understand because the little slider only goes down so far for what we're gonna need. You know, they're talking about backing up hundreds and hundreds of gigs, which is just far more than we need. So the cheapest that it looks like it will be is right around $15 a month. In fact, I think most of us are probably gonna fall in the free plan depending on how much you send to that offsite backup. So you may even find that there's not any additional costs in that, but for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and estimate $15 a month as a rough charge for my offsite backups. So if we add up all this stuff together, then for my grid pane monthly bill, if you will, it's going to be about $238 a month. 
So right off the bat, I'm saving money and my service and control over everything is going to be significantly greater with the grid pane solution rather than sticking with Cloudways. The core of this process for me is really gaining more control over my critical infrastructure. If these servers were to suddenly be out of my control, my entire business, my entire livelihood would be completely in jeopardy. So really not having that control in a system like Cloudways is kind of unacceptable to me now. As I've already said, I don't want to be caught with some massive change that comes. I'm not nimble enough to be able to move around. So a lot of this process is me really preemptively covering myself in case something crazy were to happen and I need to make big shifts. I'm not sitting here saying that grid pain is like this giant fortress and they're going to be the defender of all evil. But to me, it feels like I'm future proofing myself a little bit and I'm able to stave off any big future headaches. So I just want to quickly add as well that pricing is not what I'm basing this decision on. It could be twice as expensive as Cloudways and to me it would still be worth it because like I just said, everything about this is so critical to our businesses that if we don't have control over it, our livelihoods are in jeopardy and that's just not something that I'm willing to kind of live with anymore. So in terms of my initial thoughts with Gridpane, I've migrated a couple of my own sites over, I've provisioned a few servers set up my remote backups and transactional email, Cloudflare integrations, all those kinds of things, and everything has been really straightforward. If you manage to set up Cloudways or you're involved in anything remotely technical like that, you're not gonna have a problem. The other thing with Gridpane is that their documentation is really good. So you'll find that there are these little question mark icons wherever you're working in the dashboard, and that's gonna take you to a support article that will pretty much answer every question you've had. So far, any question that I've had, click the little support article, read through it a little bit, and I found my answer. I do recommend that you don't try to go all in and just start throwing stuff on to Gridpane and just configuring things on the fly, because there are a lot of global settings in Gridpane that are extremely awesome, such as your remote back up frequencies, your Cloudflare DNS integrations, all those kinds of things you can set at a global level. So as you're provisioning new sites, you're not having to go back and set those things manually one by one. So I would recommend that you play with the other features inside of there, uh, like your default WP builds. There's a system called bundles, so you can automatically install certain plugins. So in terms of what I think you should do is run these in tandem for a little bit. Fire up a grid pane account. There is a fairly generous refund policy. I haven't taken advantage of it, so I don't know exactly how it works, but you can go in with really no risk. You can sign up, like I said, with your Vulture coupon and be out no real money you know, for your first 30 days or so and get a feel for it, whether this makes sense. Like me, what I did was start with the Cloudflare side of things, set up a few domains in there, then get them connected in Gridpane, then migrate those sites. Now make sure you're subscribed because in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to migrate a website to Gridpane with absolutely zero downtime. In that video, we'll take advantage of CNAME flattening, we'll do some local host editing to make sure that you can see the correct site without changing any DNS, and like I said, migrate that site with zero perceptible downtime. Back to the Gridpane thoughts, integrating these third-party tools like Backblaze for our backups and SendGrid for our transactional email is absolutely a breeze. Documentation is perfect, shows you exactly what you need to know, and with a simple API key, I have it integrated and everything is working. Within minutes, I could see my backups running, my transactional email tests were all firing off, no problem. So really the kind of onboarding experience is, you know, fairly on you. There's not really like a guided experience, but everything that you could need in terms of documentation is there. And I'm really happy with, you know, my experience so far. In terms of the server stack that I landed on, I went with Nginx again and MariaDB as my database. This came from the recommended kind of server stack in their documentation and also things that I've seen Patrick share in other Facebook groups. Just keep things simple and consistent. Nginx and MariaDB are super reliable and really fast. So if you're wanting to nerd out and figure out, you know, open light speed and Percona and all those other things that you can take advantage of with Gridpane, see if you can eke out 0.001% more performance on your site more power to you, but for me, I know it works. I know my sites are already fast on that stack, so I'm just gonna stick with that. The other thing is that servers deploy really easily and apps deploy super fast, which is awesome. So often in Cloudways, I would go add an application and I'd walk away and go get a drink or go to the bathroom or whatever and come back and then maybe the application would be deployed. But in Gridpane, it's in a matter of seriously, probably less than 30 seconds and it's done. I can pretty much just wait for it and it's so quick and easy. Like I said, when you deploy these servers in Gridpane, you can switch over to your Vulture account and you can see it right there, which is really awesome. You have much more control than ever before. 
So if for some reason you needed to go log into Vulture and check out your servers, you can. I have no intention of circumventing the grid pane dashboard. I'm gonna do everything through there, but having that deeper control is very, very welcome. In terms of performance jumps moving to grid pane, I personally on my particular site saw my fully loaded times drop from about 1.5 seconds to the low 500 milliseconds. And this is a little bit variable because of course that depends on how well built up the Cloudflare cache is. But overall, my sites are extremely performant. I wasn't going in expecting massive performance gains, but I think adding Cloudflare on top of grid pane really is going to help you eke out the next level of performance, especially if you're someone like me that's already gone through and builders that give you clean code, use perf matters, image compression, and all those kinds of things, then Cloudflare DNS and grid pane is really going to be kind of the next notch up in your performance arsenal. So for me with this transition to grid pane well underway, I'm happy to report that for now I'm pleased. I haven't yet spent enough time with it to really declare it, like I said, the end all be all or absolutely make the recommendation that you jump as well. That will come in some time, maybe in you know two or three months when I've spent a good deal of time with it. But if you're like me and you have the same concerns and priorities, then I would definitely recommend you take a deep look into GridPane. If you will, please consider using my link in the description below to sign up for GridPane. You know the deal, it doesn't increase the cost for you. And in fact, I paid for GridPane out of my own pocket. So I'm not making this video in some affiliate push. I'm using this product myself and I pay for it. So like I said, if the concerns and priorities you have resonate with what I've just described, then I think grid pain is probably going to be a good fit for you. If you have any specific questions, please drop them in the comments below. I'll be making more content on Cloudflare and grid pain coming up here in the future. So make sure you're subscribed for that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.